Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the CSS color. How to specify the colors in the CSS? In how many different ways can we determine the colors? Can we add? Can we write the colors in the CSS? Let's try to see. Normally, there are several different ways to specify the color in the CSS. Now in this way here we will try to take a look at the most commonly used color values. Normally if I want to say is color is an important part of any website and also in the CSS there are many options for these color types. <clears throat> so now what the problem is when to decide which color type we need to use it. So there are so many options so in css if you come across there are so many options different ways how we can specify the colors so we'll try to see one by one the first one in this one is nothing but numeric colors so specifying the color using numeric value so numeric colors so it is very likely that is our first thing so which we will be using the numeric color so this will be the first one which we will be using when we write when we try to write the colors in the css so this is the numerical color value and in, we can represent in it few different forms. First one is in hex colors, hexadecimal colors, hex colors. I want to tell you about the hex colors. Let's say that I am having a H1. I can mention this one as color like this. And here we will be having hexa color display representation means hash. You can, yeah, you can have B7 one five four zero like this so hexadecimal notation normally we can say shorthand you can say it as an hex is a shorthand syntax for the rgb so it is a shorthand syntax for the rgb which assigns a numeric value to the red green and blue so it will assign a numeric value to the red green green and blue which are these three are primary colors we can classify them as a primary colors so these are the most popular color syntax which we will be using in the syntax uh, in the color in the css so this hexadecimal notation normally the hexadecimal ranges from 0 to 9 and a to f so hexadecimal notations will be 0 to 9 and a to f so out of these these are the only characters which we will be using in this one so you will be able to see b like this right so we will be using 0 to 9 and a to f and it is used in a six digit sequence so here one two three four five six six digit sequence they are translated to the rgb numerical ranges that is nothing but ranging from 0 to 255 so this is normally converted into the numerical ranges so this hexadecimal each one represents one two and three two digits each two digits represents the rgb color so first two digits represents the red second two digits represents the green and the last one represents the blue color so which ranges from the numerical number 0 to 255 you can also define an alpha value with any numerical colors also an alpha value is a percentage of transparency in hexadecimal code you can add another two digits to the six digit sequence making it as an eight digit sequence for example to set the black in an hexadecimal code means we will be using Ash 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and you can also add an alpha value something like last one will be 50 percent transparency if you want to add it means you can use 80 so this one is the last two digits which adds the transparency so normally what i can say is so these are uh, some common values for adding this hexa transparency thing is let's say that zero if you add zero percent you can also add the <clears throat> well, for example let's say that zero percent if you want to add zero percent transparency means then you need to add something like zero zero if you want 50 percent transparency means you can use eight zero mm, uh, like this so if you are 75 percent transparency if you want to add means so we can use bf so like this you'll be having so depending on this one you'll be having so this is hexadecimal hexadecimal representation normally to convert Two digit, uh, two digit hexadecimal to a decimal value means so first what we need to do is first we need to first digit should be multiplied by the 16 and the second digit we need to add with the second digit for example let's say that we are having a bf okay bf so this is a hexadecimal code 
now we need to convert it into a decimal code so first what we need to do so we need to take the b which is equal to 11 and we need to multiply with the 16 so then it results to the 176 value and then afterwards we got f so this is equal to 15 so we need to add it with the 176 176 plus 15 we need to use plus 15 so this results to the 191 so 191 is nothing but exactly 75 percent in the 75 percent of 255 value so this is a 191 means 75 percent of the 255 value so that is the reason so we are using bf here so that means it will apply 75 percent of the transparency so like this so you can also write hexadecimal in the three digit shorthand notation also three digit shorthand notation x code is a shortcut equivalent to the six digit sequence for example let's say that you are having a six digit equivalent let's say that a four and e so this is a shorthand three digit notation in the six digit if you want to convert it means it is equal to something like a four four and e so like this it will be so if you want to add alpha means nothing but for example hash a four e and eight if you try to add it this one means then if you want to convert it into the hexadecimal then it will be a four four e and last one will be eight eight so like this you will be having so this is the this is this is what is this is what is hexadecimal notation so writing the color in the hexadecimal notation for example let's try to see it here so here we are having if i try to show you an example here we are having a dual element so let's try to write hello world i want to show you let's see the output in the live server if i try to open it in the live server sorry so we need to add the due right yeah we have opened this hello world now i want to apply the red color for this one or anything color means so what i can do here i can apply due <coughs> background color so let's take it as a background color so hash zero 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 so you can add it like this now this one will become a black color you will be able to see it if you want to try if you want to add a transparency 75 percent transparency i can use it i can use the 80 so if you try to see here it has converted into transparency 75 percent of the transparency so this is how we can give and for this one if you want to have so you can add something like 0 0 0 and you can add 8 here so this also becomes the same thing one and the same thing only so this is how we will be implementing this one and also for example if you want to apply only the red color or something like this means so then what you can do here <coughs> rgb right so ff 0, 0, 0, 0, you can use it so now this one will become red color pure red color if you try to see here it is a pure red color at the end if you want to add the transparency means i can add something like um, <coughs> a, uh, if you want to add the transparency of 15 percent means so you can add 80 so this one will be 50 percent transparency so if you want to add 75 percent transparency means what is that i have told you b and f we can apply this one this becomes 75 percent transparency see if you want to have full transparency means then i can apply zero zero so this is a full transparency then it has been the color has been entirely removed so let's try to have one zero something like this if you try to see here so light transparency you will be having okay so this is how we can add using the hexadecimal rotation so here i can remove so like this and also i can remove this one so now i can remove another one so this is a three hand notation okay so three three extra digit notation so this also dis, uh, leads to the same thing only so this is somewhat called as an hexadecimal notation which is used in the most commonly used in the css so this is all about the hexadecimal notation so next session we will try to learn about the rgb colors and all those things notation also let's try to see it hope you understood about this hexadecimal notation of the css color if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.